Hi, my name is Jalice, and this is Infinite Modest the Design. Of course, who we are. We are a Toronto sewing and fashion studio. We do help build the skills of individual with online tutorials and offline sewing classes. Of course, if you want to find out more about our sewing services and definitely our online sewing services, kindly click the link in the description below to find out more about our services. And of course, if you are new here, kindly. Uh, consider subscribing and ring the notification bell to get more videos like this one. Now, in this video, we will be showing you some method of taking the body measurement. So stay tuned. Okay, so welcome back. Uh, nice to have you today again. So what we will do right now, we will look at taking body measurement. All right, so taking body measurement is key before we do any cutting. Without the measurement, you have no idea what you're doing, right? So that's what we're gonna be looking at today. So we're gonna be looking at foundational um, measurement for the skirt. And in this um, in this lessons, uh, overall we'll be learning a lot of different type of skirt, but we'll take the measurement for the foundational straight skirt. So you could also use it for a straight skirt, a pencil skirt, or a flare skirt, all right? Or a A-line skirt, I would say. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Now, if you have an elastic at home, you could go ahead and put the elastic around um, the waist itself. And I uh, get a lot of questions would say, a uh, student would ask me, uh, where is the waist measurement? Now that's a great question. So what I do for a reference, I would say it's around the belly button area, right? So around your navel area, that's the, the word that I know. So that would be around your belly button. Some people may say, you know what, I don't like my, my, uh, my waist around there. I want to want a different way. So whatever you choose that your waist, um, uh, your way your skirt or your or, or, or your um your pants itself so that is where you would consider to be your waist itself all right so i would just determine um for around the belly button okay so you would also take a tape measurement as well and put it around the waist now the reason why you, you you'll be doing that is just to make sure that you don't miss anything you want to make sure that you actually get the actual the accurate waist measurement itself so I'll be using my mannequin here. You could go ahead and do that at home, have someone to uh, to measure you, or you could even do it yourself. You could try your best to measure yourself. Anyway, let's get started. So I would take my tape measurement and tie it around the waist, or if I have an elastic, I will put the elastic around the waist as my guide. So we'll go ahead and tie this. All right, so we wanna tie it nice and firm. So you will be stern and steady for us. All right, awesome, okay? All right, and then we'll have another tape measurement itself and we will start. So when we're taking the waist measurement, very, very important, you wanna have your two finger in, all right? So we're gonna um, put your, I'm, I'm a right-handed, so I guess I'm gonna have the, the, the one inch here, we talked about it earlier, so I'm gonna have it in my hand like this and I'm gonna use my other hand to hug the mannequin. So just like this. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this hand and pull, um, pull the tape measurement around the waist here, okay? And then my two hand is like this. Okay, so make sure your two finger is like this. I just have my hand here. So your two finger is, see what I have? My two fingers is inside the tape measurement here. Okay, then you wanna come around nicely like this Right, and you see my two finger is inside the tape measurement and this is under. So wherever this stop, then that would be my waist measurement. So in this case, her waist measurement is 33. So I'm hoping you see that very well, okay? So go ahead and try that. So her waist measurement is 33. So what I would do here, I would write the 33 down. So you could go ahead and try that and write your waist measurement down. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do now is the hip measurement. Now, in your cheat sheet, you have the waist, the upper hips, and the lower hips. So I'm gonna explain what that means. So, we're gonna take the lower hips first. So the lower hips itself, that would be by the, that would be um, the thigh area, the bigger, the bigger um, part of the hips itself. Uh, some individuals may have a lot of hips, some may not. But the goal is that you just wanna make sure you take it by the thigh area here. So we're gonna do the lower hips. When we're doing the lips, sorry, the hips, we wanna make sure we do, do the highest part of here and also the highest part of the bum as well. So the tape measurement must be on the highest part of the bum. Why? Because you want the skirt to get up on you. 
if it's a circle skirt it's different but this is a straight skirt you definitely want it to go so this is so important to get it right so let me show you how we do it here so again we're gonna do the same method right hand hug the mannequin like this come around and okay so I stick my mannequin here all right perfect so I hope you see that very well so if you look at this is right at 42 here and my two fingers in so the exact same method two finger in ensure that you have it nice and not too tight not too loose just right so the hip mesh the lower hips is 42 all right and again it's supposed to be on the highest part of the hip and the highest part of the bum area all right so you don't want to take it under the bum or over you want to take it on the highest point these are very very important all right so I hope you see that very well so go ahead and try that for me okay so now we did the lower hips now we're gonna do the upper hips now just to let you know for the upper hips now uh, if you have a, a flat stomach you don't need to take the upper hips although it's, it's good to take it as a guide but you don't need to mostly I, I do the upper hips when my uh, client may have a round stomach here all right so we are gonna be doing the upper hips uh, nevertheless uh, so again we're gonna take it just below the belly and above the hips again I would have my hands like this and I would hug the, the, the mannequin and pull the tape around to the upper hips all right and my upper hips it come out to 40 and a half so how do I know that my bottom tape the bottom part here and again I have two fingers in as you see that right so my bottom piece here come exactly at 40 and a half so that would be my measurement 40 and a half all right and again this is the upper hips okay so go ahead and try that for me